Good Wednesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. A powerful ridge of high pressure and lots of cold air sitting across the northern tier of Alaska, out across the Bering Sea, and out across the northern sections of Canada today. And that brought temperatures down to 59 below in Chicken this morning. Not a new record, but certainly cold enough to count. Across the northern parts of the Pacific and the Gulf of Alaska, an occluded front is working its way northward. That is pushing against that very rough, tough, and hard-to-bluff ridge of cold air and moving very slowly across the northern Gulf Coast. And as that does so, we're seeing a few areas of light rain across Kodiaks and pockets of snow around Cordova and southwestern Alaska, a few areas of light rain around Dutch Harbor and a little bit more heavy rainfall across southern parts of southeast Ketchikan and Annette up toward areas in central sections of southeast that will continue into tonight. A frontal boundary will continue working its way northward as that slowly falls apart into the next 24 hours. We'll still find some areas of light rain and snowfall around the Gulf Coast. Some of that will make its way into south central Alaska. After midnight, an opportunity for some light snow will be possible. Uh, Prince William Sound may be dealing with more of a rain and snow mix. Snow is still possible around Juneau and points northward. In fact, a storm total of about four to six inches is likely as we head into the nighttime hours. Out across the west, another wave of colder air is working into the western sections of the Bering Sea, and it's going to have trouble moving a little bit further eastward in time. A 1,039 millibar ridge sitting just south and west of St. Matthew and west of the Pribilof Islands will likely create more fog than any precipitation as that front starts to ease its way eastward. We'll watch the northern end of that, north of the Bering Strait, though. It does look like some of that cold air will make its way into the northern side of Alaska. And as we go into late this weekend and early next week, that will become a little bit more of a powerful punch. In the meantime, the frontal boundary across the Gulf Coast is weakening. That may strengthen some of the winds across southwest Alaska and the Bering Sea coast along the Alaska Peninsula out toward the eastern chain. So watch for some stronger winds there. A 1,048 millibar high sitting right along the Alcan border in the upper Yukon Valley, especially just east of Fort Yukon. We'll encourage even colder air for your locations as we head into Friday morning. Trough of low pressure working from east to west across the northern Gulf Coast will continue the opportunity for some light snow showers into Friday morning for South Central and the Kenai Peninsula as well as the Cook Inlet region. Things are starting to dry up by Friday in southeastern Alaska. Southern southeast should see the sunshine. There might be a few lingering showers in the morning around Juneau. With Alaska statewide weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.